Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. Now, as you know, we've spent some time in the kitchen in previous videos, right? We've made the breakfast, talked about philosophy, politics, economics. Um, we've made some lunch, we made some dinner. Um, we looked at how many different ways we can uh, make tea and sort of mix the ingredients together and uh, i'm a huge tea drinker so we spent a little bit of time doing that and in some of those videos we had a little bit of mathematics overlaid sort of in the background doing a little bit of mathematics maybe ingredients or looking at the permutations combinations of different ways we can make tea right and in those videos you might have noticed uh, some ingredients that i use a lot and one of those ingredients is mint and that's what I have right now in the background drying and well dried right now uh, because what I do with uh, with the food that I use with some of the things that I use if I have access to them locally and if I can pick them myself I do and mint is something that just basically grows like weed it grows mad and there's a whole bunch of different types of mints you can have and the mint that you see here is uh, mint that I ended up uh, picking myself and basically what I do is basically pick a whole bunch uh, bring it home wash it in salt water let it soak a little bit in salt water right because it's coming from nature you want it to be clean and stuff you don't want uh, you just want to be mint that you're using right so I let it soak in salt water for a little bit maybe about half an hour anywhere between 15 minutes to half an hour or so sometimes longer if I'm busy doing other things and then I dry it and what I end up doing is for this batch because I had a fair bit I ended up tying these things taking the stems and tying them with a little bit of floss right and then hanging them and letting them hang dry in a space that I don't you know I'm not very active in right now okay so there isn't too much movement here so they're just nicely sitting and this is taking about um, I would say anywhere between probably about two weeks for them to dry to this state and they were ready a little bit earlier but I wasn't ready to uh, make this video because what I want to do right now is jar all of this mint right what I end up doing usually at the beginning of spring uh, mint is one of the uh, sort of weeds I guess one of the plants that grows fairly rapidly right at the beginning of the season so you can get some early spring mint right and what I have done before when spring hit you, you won't get as much as you know towards the end of summer or midsummer right but there are some nice fresh mint coming up in the spring and what I had ended up doing um, in spring is you know doing another cut like this it wasn't as much as this It was probably about this much uh, mint that I picked or about halfway through half this mint that I picked during the spring and we ended up jarring two jars one of them was this size right and another one was this one okay or it might have been three right and I'm down to my last half batch of mint half jar of mint so that's how much mint I've gone through from spring to the end of end of summer right now we're into the fall right so what I'm going to do is I want to jar all this mint so we're going to have mint all the way to the beginning of spring when mint comes up again and this is sort of a been a yearly ritual for me because I do use mint in I use it again I use it to make tea sometimes I just use straight up mint tea sometimes mix it in with rose sometimes with just black tea or ginger or or, or different ingredients that we talked about right but I do end up using mint as well a lot in food that I'm cooking specifically uh, for meats that I'm cooking as well as using mint dried like this sometimes I take bowl of yogurt and I take raisins and walnuts and throw it in there and you take mint and just crumple it in there right and mix it all up it's amazing it's really good for the summer right so I thought what we do together right now because I'm doing this is jar this mint and I got a whole bunch of jars here uh, laid out I don't think, we're not going to fill all of them but most likely this is going to give us anywhere between three to five most likely four plus or minus one okay and what I'm going to do is just jar these things here that way you see what I'm doing and what I've done is bring a bowl here okay 
and we're just going to put the jars in the bowl and take these things down nice and gentle okay because sometimes when the the plant is drying the mint is drying some of it you know is loose and i just pick it or, or it falls off what i do is you know put it in a table like this so from or a plate like this so from all this mint in the last two weeks this is what's fallen from it right or one of these actually this big one i picked because i was using it or a couple of these um i was using okay i was i wanted to try it out with the fresh mint freshly dried mint in the food just to see what it tastes like well compared to the older stuff we had this spring right and it's fairly recent so they tasted the same there wasn't any difference so what we're gonna do is take the jars and i'm just gonna place them here and we're gonna grab okay the mint from here and just crumple it in there right and sometimes you know i usually fill it in let's do it for these ones i just take it in and i'll show you right and i don't take off the leaves i use the stems as well a lot of times when i'm cooking or uh, using for tea for sure right so if we take a stem like this and put it in a teapot and do the double you know simmer style that i do right so all i do is just usually just take this and crunch it in and it falls in there and i push the leaves in there right so let's just put these in there so these are out of the way and you know that's basically what we're going to do for uh the remainder of the time uh nice and quiet nice and gentle and go about our business um, filling in these jars so we can have mint for the rest of the year and beginning of next year because we're in 2018 right now so so we can have mint i'm going to put this little bit of bubble thing here so we don't get that sound right and what i do is i just push it down right and the way we're going to take these down i got a my scissors here okay and what we're going to do we're just going to actually before we do that let me see if i can take this off nice and gentle without losing too many leaves from it Oh, we lost one. Right. You can just open it up and take it down. And one we lost, I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to use the scissors just to cut the floss here. And then I'm just going to separate these and push them in because when I'm taking them out, what I can do is either grab a stem and pull gently, you know, get a stem with some of the leaves falls off or i can just reach in and just grab one leaf and the way it works is here let me show you this as well uh, this as well right and the way it crumbles is this take a look right falls down i could even wait until these are dried a little bit more but they're fairly dry they're dry enough for what we need right as you can tell Whoop. and if i feel like right now if these aren't as dry as i like them because sometimes you grab and just go it just totally falls apart it's fantastic right what i do is when i jar them i leave the lid open i don't put the lid back on it right I leave the lid open and just let it dry a little bit so maybe i put it under the sun a little bit not for a whole day just an hour or so or half an hour or so and the rest of the moisture will evaporate and then i close up the lid and we're done all right so what we're gonna do is put this guy here and i'm gonna bring this guy here that way if any of the leaves fall down we catch them in the bowl right and we're just gonna cut this and take the floss away. Right. And what we're going to do is just push them one at a time.
and it smells amazing. Like really, it smells fantastic. When I just washed them and they were freshly hanging, amazing smell, amazing smell. And just one more note, because I'm putting the stems as well in here as well, because the stems take longer to dry than the leaves, right? Take a look at this. Right? You need them to be dry. So if you're doing this, you want to check the stems. When the stems are completely dry, you're ready to do this, right? Take a look. These could possibly use another week of hanging, right? But it's okay. These most most of these are in my line of sight, and I'm just gonna use them use them up and leave the lid open a little bit for maybe a day or so. Okay. So let's take down another one. 